All right, hello everybody. So I'm gonna do a short little video about Ventoy. The goal of this, me putting these videos out, is that really for my son. My son will be kind of operating this channel, but I'm trying to put some videos and things and stuff for him together to, you know, try to get him, you know, up to speed on some things. So that's the purpose of all these videos. Really, is for education of my son. I do apologize for any background noise that you have. I am here in the Philippines and I just don't have the means to make everything as quiet as I want to. So I do apologize for any background noise. And with all that being said, um, let's get into this. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to Ventoy. So that would be here, Ventoy.net. We'll get you that. And the main page looks like this. There's some information on here. And gives you a little bit of breakdown. This is what it will look like once you actually boot into this. So what is Ventoy? Ventoy is a basically an ISO like Debian or Arch or any of those pretty much. But within that ISO, that image, you can put other images inside of that. So what it does is eliminates you having multiple USB drives for different operating systems. You can stick... Well, however big your drive, thumb drive is, um, you can put that many ISOs in there and be able to boot just as the picture shows here. So, so you know what, what they got going on here. You can put quite a few. So I was on a thumb drive and I recently upgraded to, instead of using a thumb drive, I have a SSD. I put in my computer, a 250 gig uh, SSD that I use just for Ventoy. So when I go through and boot, because I also uh, get on uh, uh, Vert Manager and I do some things there and I can just pull the ISOs from that, drag them over, uh, do that kind of thing. So what I'm gonna do is I have an existing, I have an existing uh, Ventoy drive here, but you can update this without losing the ISO. So I'm gonna put that into the machine here and okay got that in there so first thing is is you go to downloads and you're going to download the tar file here which i've already downloaded this i have not installed it yet so <clears throat> um you do, download that for linux or for windows so i'm gonna go here i will i will actually un remove that Move that to trash and we'll untard us again. So I'm going to do uh, Z because I use the Z side. Z downloads. Loads enter. We're going to do an LSD. Okay. And then we're going to hit tar. Uh, X, F, Z. I, I'm, I use that. So we use that. And then we can hit LSD. And I got Ventoy. We're going to CD into that. So Ventoy, Ventoy, that right there. Do an LSD. Um, by the way, I use LSD. I prefer that over EXA. It's very nice. It comes with some little icons there. Pretty nice looking. So we have our choices here. Um, you can do a, through the web. Um, there's a web one there. There's a complete GUI and there's another one I can't remember. There's three different ways I can't remember. But what I'm going to show you is the GUI. So you're just going to do dot that. Do your back tick and Ventoy. 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 And I'm going to do GUI. And I'm x84. Dot x84. Okay. That. Hit that. Brings up your permissions and hit OK to that. Okay, there we are. It recognized my drives in device. It is 32 gigs. That's the device. So um, secure boot support partition um, style. Now it is set to that. I, if I change it, I don't know if it'll mess it up or not. But UFI partitions, which most of them are, you'd want to use like uh, GPT. So I, I believe that's not installed right. But
but the Vint toy is uh, package we download is 1.0.93 the one that's on a device is 1089 so it can be update so I will update this and just click update and hit OK and it has been updated and as you can see right now it is updated i will go to my file manager now and we'll look into ventoy here and as you can see the images are still there this is the ventoy that's actually in my computer system and those are the images in there so i just boot from that when i do uh i would show that if i had a, if I had a um screen capture card I don't have one of those yet but when I do I'll be able to show some of those kind of things but um, makes it very nice because you know you can do it many times on like a thumb drive will kind of get worn out and not so reliable over time anyway that's a short little tutorial about Ventoy this is a great tool for people who like to change their operating system all the time thank you very much and stay tuned for more later on thank you